Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to another Touch Designer tutorial. Um, this one is also by popular request. Um, this is going to be a tutorial for the visual cartographer that I made. Um, yeah, another really, I would say, simple, straightforward one. As you can see here, nothing too complex and, you know, pretty low uh, memory usage on this one. But yeah, I guess I'll just get into walking you guys through it. So I'll go ahead and pause the visual right here. All right, so I guess first things first, um, you know, like a lot of my visuals, I always start off with your basic um, audio analysis uh, setup. Right now I'm using the track uh, Data Matrix by Ryoji Akita. Um, I, I feel like super popular amongst a lot of visual makers here. But you know, you start off with audio file in, device out, your analysis, which I have my parameters set up all right here that you can see and then throw that into a null. So then that way I can assign the different, you know, effects to, you know, I have the bloom here that's going to be affected by the high. And let's see here, noise, you know, so main ones that I have here, period, harmonic gain and amplitude. You can see what they're affected by, the high notes, high and the high. Hmm. So that's going to be what you kind of see right here. That's kind of affects the distortion, the noise, like kind of the style. I'll play the video really quick. So as you can see here, just a lot of that movement that you see coming in right there. Let me pause this again. Um, and then same thing with the circle. Um, the effect that I think a lot of you see is the, uh, the big booming kind of bloom effect on the, the bass notes. And so that's why you can see both of these are assigned to the low. Um, let's see, I'll get into, I guess, just overall now, like the basic build of it. Um, so we're starting off with a circle. This is what gives us our general shape of, you know, just like the visual. Um, I have a constant set up here, everything's set to 1920 by 1080p. Um, that's what affects the circle, the noise, or vice versa. <laughs> right there and you know that'll affect everything else in here um let's see so you know this circle we have the softness just set to 0.1 just to kind of you know give it like a little you don't want this to be i think too um sharp you know it's part of the appeal is just to just offset it just by a little bit just to kind of smoothen up the edges have everything kind of blend in with each other um and yeah like i said setting those low notes to the radius X and Y. Um, so that's what gives you that um, that big pulsating effect every time like the bass note hits. Um, let's see, getting into the noise right here. Um, same thing, you know, this is what is going to be all combined into this comp. The noise is what also, again, is affecting the shape and everything, the texture, the style of the distortion of that circle. Um, and so you can see here, pushing play, those high notes are affecting the really cool glitchy kind of like transforming look that we have here. Um, so all of these are set to high, you know, those a lot you can play with this, like, you know, as far as visual like effects go, like exponent, you know, effects like, you know, you can see it's a little bit more cleaner right here, you know, distort it a little bit less, you know, we have a lot more kind of like dynamic movement going on here, whatever suits your style. And choices and everything so this is these two you know tops are being added into this comp right here you know so noise circle right there and then we're using the multiply operation that's pretty much you know all that goes into that right here then we have it go into feedback so you can see this is where you know a lot of kind of the effects start happening for that delayed kind of a um, stylized going here so, you know, it goes into this feedback right here, and this is what kind of gives it that like longevity effect here to a transform. Um, let's see, you can see my scales here. This is, as you can see, transform is what keeps a lot of this stuff moving within like that feedback and everything. So that's why I have that added right there. Let's see here. So scale 1.00. 0.5, same thing, 1.0005, 
row strength 0 0.5, 0 0.5, pivot 0 0.5, 0 0.5, scale rotate translate. So again, just some dynamic movement to stay within like, you know, just the ever constant transforming stylization that we got going on there. Throw those into another comp. Um, let's see, as you can see here, this feedback is also being affected by this comp here. So this is these two tops being thrown in together. Sam, this is gonna be over operation, transform three, comp one. And then this is both going out to this third comp and the displacement. My displace being at 0 0.05, 0 0.05 for the displaced weight, offset 0 0.5, 0 0.5, everything at 0 0.5, just leave it right there. Comp operation, gonna do a top and then displace comp two over on uh, top of each other. The ramp, this is what also affects a lot of kind of like cool stylization. You can play a lot with this um, effect and it'll give you a lot of cool different, you know, styles that you can mess around with. This is what I have it set to, um, you know, just in general, have a little bit of black here. My phase, you know, it's currently set to negative 0.07 and then my period at 1.25. But I'll show you what happens if you play with it a little bit, you know, Let's see, you've got a lot of cool, again, very interesting stylization uh, choices going on here. Let's see, play another style with it. Eh, well, you know, you get the idea. A lot of cool stuff that you can mess around here. But and again, I like to keep this at just standard black and white, keep things minimal. Um, so pretty much, as you can see right here, this is, you know, kind of everything that is being affected by, you know, this whole kind of portion of tops going into each other. But how we end up getting kind of like this very minimal, more just, I guess, glitchy and not so feedbacky y um, psychedelic look is we just throw this into an edge. Do that. So as you can see here, this is what kind of, you know, like isolates all of like the whites and like black colors together and we can see here you know this affects like the the way that's a cool look right there gonna save that for later but so i have this kind of just that you know you can overall i think set this to 0.5 and then keep that at two for strength but again mess around however you see fit with your preferences we throw this into a bloom and so as you can see, this is also being affected by the high notes. Um, you know, it just gives it like a cool flashing effect, blur size 20, but you know, we can adjust that however you want, set that up, to, you know, the max 32. Um, iterations to gamma one, contrast 1.05, just for, you know, my particular little like preferences and bloom at 0.184, but the intensity, that's what's going to be affected by the uh, high notes from the track and then overall you know this is kind of just wrapping it up right here you throw this into a transform as you can see um, let's see here uh, null and an out transform you know you always make sure to just have that set up to comp back over background color put that at one otherwise you know it's just clear but yeah uh, null and then you know out um, that's kind of overall the basis of you know this visual I would say pretty straightforward nothing too complicated and you know you can throw in a lot of stuff in between to kind of just play with the style again I'll show you exponent does a lot of cool tricks you know that's another one cool one that you can mess around with in the audio reactive section harmonics you know very cool stuff you can do here um, but that's overall the basis of this uh, tutorial um, I think the same with um, that I did with the last one. I'm going to have this up and link to my uh, my Gumroad account. Um, it'll be free to download if you guys want to go ahead and just play around with it. But you know, any support is appreciated. Um, you know, so yeah, um, we'll continue to try and post more visuals, do more tutorials. You know, whichever you guys prefer. Um, yeah, and if you want to just see more of my work, you know, you can continue to follow me on Instagram at PaulXAndrew. You can also follow my creative uh, business account. Uh, that's going to be Aporia Creative Group. Um, I'll have a link to that in my bio as well. But again, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and checking out this tutorial. And I'll hopefully be posting another one soon. Thanks. Bye.